In this video, I'm going to show you the top five most common questions that Coles ask in their interviews, and I'm going to help you plan outstanding answers that will get Coles interested in hiring you. So let's start with the most common question in Coles interviews, and that is simply, what shifts can you do at Coles? They are incredibly interested to know the times that you can work, and if you don't prepare for this question well, you are not going to get the job. And a lot of people absolutely mess up this question, so I'm going to show you how you can answer it in a way that scores highly and will help you be successful. So fundamentally, you need to show a few things. You need to show that you're flexible, that you can work a wide range of times. You also have to show that you're reliable. They want to employ people that are reliable, and this is a good opportunity to mention reliability. If you've got a good track record of reliability and you're happy to commit to being reliable, make that commitment. Say to them that you'll always be there on time, and if you've got some work experience that backs up a track record of reliability, say that. Also, they want someone with a can-do attitude. They don't want to give the job to someone who can't work a wide range of times. The way that people do really badly on this question is that they answer it by saying the times that they would rather not work and then say that they can do all of the other times. And whenever you say no to something in this question and whenever you're listing times that you don't want to work, you're just giving them reasons not to hire you. So you don't want to volunteer any information that isn't going to help you. That's not a good way to approach an interview. The other thing you're going to have to do is demonstrate commitment. This is a great question for Coles to assess whether you're serious about working there. And if you give a list of lots of times that you can't work, that is going to suggest to them that you don't take your job seriously. So volunteer to work a wide range of times, and that will go a long way to getting them interested in hiring you. The other clever trick to use is to mention specific times that they are really interested in. And Coles like to hear in interviews that you're happy to work on public holidays, that working weekends is something that is of interest to you, stores are busier during the weekend, and of course, that is a time that's slightly more difficult to staff. People would rather just work Monday to Friday and have the weekend off, but the store is still open. That's when people want to go shopping. The stores are often open quite late. Some Coles stores are open till 10 o'clock at night. So if you're happy to work in evenings, that's a great thing to mention. You may never have to work at short notice and you may never have to work overtime. But if you're happy to do that, you can simply volunteer in the interview. And that's a great way of showing flexibility and an open-minded attitude. And another great phrase that you can use if you are very, very flexible is to say that you are happy to work to meet Cole's needs, which is basically a way of saying you are happy to work any time in general and that you will work around what the company needs. And that's very reassuring to a manager. You're basically saying to them that you're not going to be a problem and you're going to be an asset to the company that is someone that can staff the store when they need people. So that is how you approach that question. Don't mention the times that you can't do. Focus on the can-do attitude and you will be successful. So let's move on to another really important question, which is what can you tell me about Coles? Obviously, you should never, ever go to an interview without having done your research. If you're asked this question and you don't know much about the company, you are not going to impress them and you're unlikely to be successful. What you need to do is show an amazing knowledge of the company. And the way that you approach this question is start off by saying the things that everyone knows. Get the obvious things out of the way. Then show off that you've done your research and then really dig deep into the company's history and into the company's operations to give some facts that show that you have really prepared really well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run through key facts about Coles that you need to know for the interview to really show off your knowledge on this question. So what you need to do is start by mentioning the obvious fact that Coles is a department store. And that means that it sells clothing, footwear, beauty products, electronics, and furniture. They are their main lines. The other really important fact about Coles that's really helped them survive is that Coles isn't heavily focused on malls. They have locations outside of malls, so the death of malls that's really killing a lot of retailers isn't affecting Coles nearly so badly. The other thing you need to know is about the history. So it was founded by Maxwell Cole, that's where we get the name from, and it was actually originally started as a grocery store. The grocery store was founded in 1927, but the Coles that we know today started in 1962. You want to remember those two dates. 
The company has now grown to be a for, Fortune 500 company. That means that it's one of the 500 largest companies in the United States. They sell a mixture of what's called private label brands. So that is brands that are owned by Coles and not anyone else, that you will only get these at Coles. The other thing that they do as part of their strategy is they have exclusive brands. They have special deals with brands like Mud Jeans and other companies that sell their products exclusively through Coles. So people who like those particular brands have to come to Coles to be able to get those. The other thing you should be aware of is that they have an Amazon partnership currently. So that means that you can collect your Amazon deliveries at Coles. And that is a great way of getting people into the store. The theory is that if you go there to pick up an Amazon package, you might actually buy some Coles products while you're there. Coles also offer a ship to store service. So you can order at Coles.com and collect it from a local store. So that's one of the advantages Coles has of running these physical stores. That's one thing that they have that is better than the online only retailers. There's also Coles Cash that's a really popular promotion that's money that can only be spent within Coles and is linked to their promotional activities. That's a really key thing to Coles branding and marketing strategy. They are really a company that's all about providing good value and delivering products at very attractive prices and have a lot of promotions all the time. They also have branded credit cards. You should know about these. Look up the current credit card offering. What are the benefits? What are the perks that are associated with that? You should know that and be able to talk about that in your interview. They are also very proud of the fact that they are the largest solar energy generator within the retail space. Coles generates more solar energy from their stores than any retailer in the world. That's a great thing to mention at your interview. The last thing, which is going to be my final tip for preparing for this question, is to take some time to read Coles investor presentations, which will give you a really great insight into the company's current thinking. And they also publish a fact book that is full of the most current information about the company. So look those two up, have a read of those, and that will really help you prepare for your interview. We can now move on and look at a customer focus question, which is how would you deal with a customer complaint? Obviously, if you work in retail, you're gonna have to deal with customer complaints. And Coles wants reassurance that you're going to deal with this in an appropriate way. They want you to, to show that you actually know what you're doing. So the way that you answer this question is by talking about four things. Start by using the word de-escalate. That means calming the situation down. The customer's perhaps really angry and annoyed about something that's went wrong, and you want to be there to calm them down. And the way that you can do that is by really showing that you're listening and that you actually care about their complaint, that their complaint is being taken seriously and that they've got an audience for that complaint. Often customers that are making really angry complaints and really, really getting irate about it. It's just that they want someone to be listening to their complaint. And once you show that you're taking their complaint seriously and that you're going to do something about it, that goes a long way to getting that angry customer under control. The other thing you need to do with a consumer complaint is to find the solution. Say in your interview that you are focused about solving customers' problems. When a customer comes to you with a complaint, your goal is to solve that problem. And you also need to mention that you will do it within Cole's policies. For example, if someone wants to get a refund for something that they are not entitled to, then you can't just issue that refund. You have to follow Cole's policies. And then the last thing you do to sum up your answer to this question is say that your fundamental goal is to turn a negative experience into a positive experience. You want someone who's come into a store to make a complaint to think, yes, Coles did get it wrong the first time, but they totally sorted it out and I never lost out and everything was fixed and they were really wonderful about it. So actually it doesn't really matter that they got it wrong the first time so much because the customer has this positive impression of calls and they're going to come back and you have done 
the right thing for the company and the right thing for the customer. So fundamentally, talk about de-escalation, talk about the fact that you're listening carefully, that you're looking to find a solution within Cole's policies, and that you want to turn that situation from a negative to a positive. Mention those things and you will really succeed on this question. So let's move on and look at the next question, which is around your major strengths and weaknesses. This question is one that you really need to prepare for. It is so easy to miss a great opportunity to talk about your strengths and really sell yourself, or to say something really stupid for your weaknesses and absolutely mess up the interview. So I'm gonna show you how you can approach this question and be successful. So let's start by looking at strengths. And when you are talking about strength, you have to pick a strength that's actually a substantial strength. It's not just a little strength that's not that important. It's actually a really, really important and strong strength that you have. The next thing you want to do to make your answer strong is to supply some evidence that could be a reference from a manager or a qualification, for example, or if you don't have those things, you want to provide examples. If you're talking about the fact that you're great at customer service, you want to provide examples of when you have provided great customer service. So think up some examples and think of some way that you can evidence a strength. And I'll give you some inspiration about some good strengths to use at your interview. And fundamentally, you need to think about a strength that will improve Cole's business. That if they were to hire you, they are going to get this strength and this strength is going to increase their business's success. And it's going to be really, really key that you think about that and plan out an answer that convinces them that your strength actually matters. And we're gonna look at some ideas for strengths in just a second, but when you answer the question, very simple way to do it. So you say, a strength that I've developed is, say what your strength is, this can be demonstrated by, then supply your evidence or talk through your examples that you've prepared. And then the most important bit is to say that this strength will be of use to Coles because, and explain why this strength is going to matter to the company. Why should Coles care about this? This is your opportunity to link your strengths to Coles business and show that you're gonna have an impact. So some inspiration of some things that you could use, you could talk about customer service work experience, that is probably one of the best strengths. If you're gonna be working in a Coles store, they want people that are great at customer service. If you speak two or more languages, that's a great asset for the store. If you're very meticulous, that's helpful. If you're reliable or if you've got great product knowledge, if you know a lot about fashion or you know a lot about jewelry, for example, that could come in handy, particularly in the electronics. If you've got a lot of knowledge about electronics, they would probably be quite interested in that. On the other hand, we need to now look at weaknesses. And they may ask what your biggest weakness is. And when you answer this question, you need to do a few things. You need to start by, you know, don't fake your way through this question. Don't pick something that isn't really a weakness. So saying something like, I've always been a perfectionist. That is not a real weakness. And interviewers hate to hear that. They hear it all the time, so don't use that one. Make sure it's an actual weakness. Then spend your time talking about how you're gonna fix your weakness. Don't talk about this weakness as a big problem. Talk about this weakness as something you're working on. And then absolutely make sure it's something that Coles won't care about. So when you pick a weakness, it has to be something that doesn't matter to Coles at all. So if you were to say something like, I have extraordinarily unpleasant body odor and regularly fart in the presence of customers, you are not going to get this job. You've just blown the interview, of course. So it has to be something that's not important. So don't use anything that's on the strengths lists, for example. The way that you answer it when you've picked your weakness, and I'll give you some ideas of some weaknesses that's okay to use, is to say a weakness that I am aware of is to overcome this weakness I am. So just say what your weakness is. Don't talk about your weakness in very much detail. Then talk about some things that you're gonna to do to get over your weakness and then move on. Some ideas is to talk about perhaps maths, delegation, spelling, and public speaking. If you're not applying for a management role, the first three are things that are really not going to matter to you. And public speaking isn't something that you would ever tend to have to do at calls. So if you're no good at it, it's really not gonna have any impact on your performance at the company. 
So pick something that isn't going to affect your performance and then talk about what you can do to get over that weakness and you will be successful in this question. So let's move on and look at a really, really important question, which is why do you want to work at Coles? Again, this is a question that you absolutely have to be prepared for. If you're not prepared for this and you don't have a good answer, it really hurts your case for getting a job. So I'm gonna take you through some of the things that you should talk about in your interview. And I would strongly recommend that this is one of the questions that you want to actually get a pen and paper and write out in full and memorize because it's so likely to come up and it makes such a big difference if you get it right. So let's talk about the things that you should be mentioning in your answer. So you should start by talking about what do you like about Coles? Why is Coles somewhere that you really like, that you would like to work there because you like the company? So think about your experiences of having shopped there and think about what Coles stands for, their vision, their values, or anything around those sort of ideas that explain what you actually like about Coles. Then talk about why the job you're applying at at Coles actually matches your skills. So if you're great at customer service, if you're great at working with people, if you're very organized, if you have great product knowledge of Coles products, if you know their business really well, these sort of things are things that you can link to why you want to actually work there. You can talk about the training opportunities. Do you want to get some customer service experience? Do you want to work your way up into management over the longer term? Do you see a long-term career at Coles that you could start at one level and then move to the next level and move to the next level? That you could earn, keyword earn, some promotions over time by being great at your job. Also link Coles to your interests. If you are interested in meeting new people, if you're interested in working in customer service, if you're interested in Coles products, this is a good time to talk about it. And most importantly, as you're giving your answer, show some enthusiasm. And if you've learned your answer and really prepared for this, you can be focusing on your interview in being really positive and enthusiastic because you know this question, you know it's coming up, and you've planned for it. And I'm going to give you some things that you can also mention specifically. Do you see Coles as a long-term career? If you do, now is a good time to talk about how you could have a long-term, perhaps even your whole career, at Coles, if that's something that interests you. You could talk about an employee referral. So if you know someone who has worked at the company and they have suggested that you apply, talk about their positive experiences and why they think Coles would be a great place for you to work and share in their positivity and enthusiasm for the company because that's probably why they recommended you work there. You could talk about the fact that they are a Fortune 500 company. They're one of the 500 largest companies. And so therefore, there's going to be a big, long career path that you could follow. You could move all the way up in that company. There's great opportunities within very, very large companies in the long term. Definitely say that you think that you would be good at the job. That is a real good reason for wanting to work there. You want to work at a job that you think you'll be good at and explain why you'll be, you will be good at the job. Sell yourself in this question. We can also talk about brand affinity. Talk about your love of the Coles brand if you actually love the Coles brand. It would help for working there. And talk about your experiences as a customer at that store. Definitely say that you think you'll enjoy the job and that can be said in a very enthusiastic way. And you can also talk about wanting to get some consumer experience and talk about your experience as a consumer at Coles. So definitely plan out your answer for this question. Perhaps pause the video here and get a pen and paper and write out an answer and learn it. It will help so much on the day, I guarantee you. And finally, as a bonus, here are some great questions that you can ask Coles in your interview. You must make sure that you ask what the next steps in the hiring process is. If you don't care about what comes next, that is going to be a problem. They want people that actually care about getting the job and are really interested. And one way you can show your interest in actually getting it, that you're really, really serious and really enthusiastic, is by asking what comes next in the hiring process. So you want to know, when do I find out if I've been successful? Next thing you want to do is ask about the team that you're going to work with. Show an interest in your colleagues. Ask also for some advice about what a new hire should do to be successful in retail. Because if you're successful, that's going to help you. It also shows that you actually care about being good at your job. And also, if you don't get the job, it's going to give you some ideas about how to apply for the next job at perhaps another retailer. 
You can also ask what the characteristics of really great Coles employees are. And while they're telling you that, you can be listening carefully and then engage in a discussion about how you meet the criteria for being a great employee. And you can remind them of your previous answers about why you'd be great at the job. And the last thing you've got to do is invent one question then and there. You have to make up one question on the day. So I hope this video has been very helpful to you. If this video has helped you out, please click the like button and also subscribe so you can get more career tips and help other people discover this video. And finally, thank you very much for watching. Best of luck in your Coles interview.